Uh, ben, Matheus from Time Out Brazil. Uh, congratulations for going for the NFL draft. Uh, you play like a, a lot of things in the offense in your Michigan career. Uh, you show that with Senior Bowl, a lot of a lot of scouts talk about it. And how do you think that the versatility of like playing fullback, playing tight end can help you on this on stock draft? Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's something that as a football player, I really pride myself on uh, being able to do everything. And uh, whether it's you asked me to run down on special teams, be on coverage units, uh, return units, uh, in the backfield on offense, in the hip as a tight end or, or as a true tight end, that, I'll really do anything. And uh, that, that's just what my skill set has developed into. So uh, I think it'll bode well for me. But uh, that just gives you more opportunities, the more you can do. And, and just a quick follow up. Uh, how, how, has been, how has been the, the talk with the NFL coaches, especially after the senior bowl? What was that? I didn't understand the question. No, sorry. Uh, how has been the talk with like the, the NFL scouts and coaches after the senior bowl? How is it being able to talk with them, you said? Yeah. How, how was like, if you have meetings, how they're going? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, uh, they're going really well, and uh, it's re it's really good because uh, it's just an interview. Be yourself, and uh, if you are who you are and who you are is a good person, then people are going to respect that. So uh, for me, it's easy. I just have to be who I am and um, uh, have have good conversations with the team. So uh, conversation is going really well. This question here is from Alex Fleming. How you doing, sir? I'm doing well. How are you, Alex? Not too bad. Alex Fleming, Florida Sun. Um, Two-part question. One, how much tape have you studied of James White, Ty Montgomery, dual threats in the NFL? And number two, considering that you're so versatile, do you see yourself maybe even playing defense or special teams, considering you play almost all offensive positions? Uh, yeah, definitely. So, yeah, I've watched a lot of tape on – uh, different kinds of running backs, whether they're third down receiving backs or or true fullbacks or even tight ends. So I, I really watch a little bit of everyone and try to take a little bit from everyone's game into mine and morph it into my own. So I don't really model any any one player as a player, but uh, I, I try to take a little bit from everyone's game. And then as far as uh, other positions I can play besides fullback, I'm really open uh, to playing anything. But at the end of the day, I'm a fullback. And and uh, I can play tight end. I can do different things that on offense, but and I'm willing to help on defense. But primarily, uh, I'm a fullback and a special teamer. What's your forty time, if I may ask? We'll find out on Friday. Our next question here is from Alex oh, fast, Kizora. Really fast. Hey, Ben, thanks for talking with us. I know in this process we get so focused on what makes a good fullback or a good tight end or a good whatever primary position, but to you because you mentioned special teams, what makes a good special team or someone who can run down kicks and punts? Yeah, definitely. So first and foremost, you got to be able to run. And if you can't run, then you can't be on coverage units because especially uh, kickoff and punt, if you don't get down there as fast and make the returner feel uh, your speed as a unit, then you're not going to be an effective unit because when you can get down there and constrict the returner so they don't have anywhere to go, that – that really just – it really kills the whole return. So speed first and foremost. From there, you got to be knowledgeable as a football player and have good instincts because if the ball is kicked in a place that uh, it's not supposed to be kicked, you got to be able to adjust and, and make a play off that even though uh, it might not be what you thought was going to happen. So you got to have instincts and be able to adjust on the fly. And uh, you just got to be an aggressive player and like contact. So – uh, if you can do those three things, then you're more than likely going to be a good special teamer. Next question here is from Stanfield Management. Hey, Ben, how are you? I'm doing well. How I'm are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Uh, Devon Stanfield from Fresh Perspective Sports covering Atlanta, the Atlanta Falcons and the Buffalo Bills. Uh, two questions. Number one, you were recruited uh, as, a, as a fullback. I mean, as a linebacker initially, do you think that that has helped you throughout your career in terms of being able to 
uh, being able to anticipate defenses and, and, and create yourself or present yourself in such a versatile, versatile way in terms of what you've done over, over the course of your career? Yeah, definitely. I, yeah, think, definitely. That I think that – Really just my whole really background, whole whether we're background, playing whether linebacker, playing linebacker or playing defensive tackle my junior year, that's all all really helped me, not only from a, a knowledge perspective, but from a physical perspective as well. Because uh, especially as a, a defensive tackle, you're taking on uh, big 350 pounders at the point of attack. Like every single day I would go again, up against Cesar Ruiz and Michael Wayne, you Ben Bredesen, John Runyon, who ended up all being uh, offensive linemen in the NFL. So uh just going up against them and, and gaining that perspective and, and just from a leverage standpoint, now when you go hit linebackers and, and DBs and DNs, it's, it's definitely a different feeling. So uh, from a physical perspective, it, I think that's where you, I've gained the most from playing uh, defensive tackle. But uh, as far as from an understanding perspective, uh, I have great understanding of, of defensive fronts, what, what teams are trying to do, uh, what what really what's when the back end's doing a certain thing how does that affro- uh, affect the front end and and just really how that all ties in so uh that's definitely really helped me too just seeing it from the other side uh, Kevin, did, you, oh, Kevin, did you have another Kevin, question another question yeah i have one quick question uh typically I, I know we typically the in, the nfl draft doesn't give a whole lot of love to fullbacks but you're one of the more versatile athletic fullbacks that can also catch the ball very well out of the backfield. So kudos to you on that. Do you Thank find, you. have you found yourself uh, uh, working on specific things to, to, to further set your, separate yourself away from the rest of the field? Uh, yeah, really. I'm trying to separate myself from myself. That's really what it comes down to. I compete with myself every day. And uh, one of the main skills that I've really worked on this whole past year is, is tracking the ball over my shoulder, which, uh, that can pay that that's a big uh when you're big fast and you can run and and after you you run downhill and you you hit a guy a couple times then maybe you can bluff them and and get up the field so uh, that's something that could be used to my advantage best of luck at the next level Ben thank you our next question here is from David Woodruff Hey, Ben, looking back at your uh, career at Michigan, uh, what has it kind of meant to you to uh, wear, wear the maize and blue uh, for the last few years? It's really meant everything. And uh, coming in, uh, I just knew about all the tradition and uh, what the program was about. So I'm really thankful and fortunate that I had the opportunity to wear the Block M and, and play for Michigan. Next question here is from Isaiah. Hey, Ben, looking back at last year, things started out pr- pretty great against Minnesota, but then kind of dovetailed from there. Did, looking back, have you, could you pinpoint why the offense wasn't quite as efficient as it was to start out the year or what just kind of wasn't working? Uh, no, I think you could really sit back and analyze things as, as much as you want, and maybe you blame it on one thing, maybe you blame it on something else, but – at the end of the day, the results are the results. So uh, why, why that happened, I, I can't tell you that. But uh, all I know is we started off really well. And then uh, after that, uh, we, we never could match the performance that we had against Minnesota. To, to follow up, are, with all the guys that are coming back this next year, is there anyone that you look at and say that they're, they have that potential to be a future star for Michigan or people that maybe are under the radar? Are that you think are ready to take that next step? Yeah, I think there's a lot of a lot of good players in uh, the program right now. A lot of guys that have have seen the field already, and uh, just good players overall. But uh, just to name a few, Josh Ross uh, going to be a really good player for us. Brad Hawkins, uh, Aiden Hutchinson, uh, Hassan Haskins. So uh, going forward, uh, I think the the arrow is pointing up for Michigan. And I can't wait to see the product that they put out on the field next year. Just a reminder, if you have a question for Ben, uh, put it in the queue. Um, right now, there's nothing left in the queue, so we'll just wait a couple seconds. If you do have a question, otherwise, I'll uh, excuse Ben a little early here. Isaiah, you get another question. 
Yeah. Uh, you, you mentioned Hassan as being a guy that you, you're particularly excited about. What about Hassan, especially since you've been in that room with him? What about Hassan is, uh, stands out to you and why you think he could be a future face for, for this program? Well, he's a football player at the end of the day. He's When he came into the program, he was brought in as a running back. He's played linebacker. Um, so he's just really good at uh, running and – and hitting people and he's just a very he checks all the boxes in all areas and he's really smart too so uh i i think the sky's the limit for him as a player and uh it's, it's going to be exciting going forward angelique man i apologize if you've been asked this my zoom cut out earlier but i was just wondering when you talk to nfl teams what is it you want them to know they're they're going to get from you I want them to know that they're getting a guy who's going to do anything for the organization. They're getting a guy who uh, he's going to run down on all the special teams and be a madman, uh, make a lot of plays for them. And he's going to make an impact on the offensive side of the ball. He's a talented player and uh, he's going to do everything he can for the organization and, and be a good, good guy to have for the culture. Next question, Alex Fleming. Would you consider yourself the last of a dying breed of football players? Uh, Yeah, a lot of people say that about fullbacks. And, uh, you know, it's funny. To me, it's like the game, especially uh, defenses, they're getting smaller. And uh, linebackers are now uh, smaller, faster players. So uh, I think you could – see in the future maybe the game to flip back especially on the offensive side of the ball to maybe bring in some uh bigger players and try to overpower but uh for me i'm just doing everything i can do and uh that's up to them all right we don't well actually we do have another question in the queue aaron mcmahon then uh you obviously were a participant at the senior bowl uh a few months ago how do you think that helped your stock and what did you take from that week yeah it was a really good week just going out and be able to compete with the best and for me it was it was really good being able to get out there and and show some things I haven't shown especially in the passing game so uh that was really good and then in in the game be able to go out there and uh make make some good blocks so I was I was really happy with how the week went and I think I got better as the week went on so uh I was really happy with the week as a whole. 